Welcome friends to U-Turn Live. It's a game show night with me and Stella. So I see many of you here in our YouTube chat. It's uh, so lovely to see each one of you coming in very early and ready to play. Hi Stella. Hi everyone. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining. As Sam said, we're going to play some games and we're going to answer your questions and also ask you questions and see if you know the answers to them. So this time it's different. Uh, usually it's you guys asking us about many different doubts that you have, many confusions that you have, but today we're going to be asking you and see how well you know uh, about the uh, different things that we're going to ask you. So comment below uh, if you're ready to play. If you're ready, let us know in the comments because we're going to be reading the comments. We need you to be active and comment your answers so that we know that you're playing along. So if you have any siblings or any friends or cousins in your home, ask them to join in as well and see if they also know the answers. If you have any friends or cousins, um, send this video to them and see how many answers they get right um, and see if you can beat them in this game. This uh, game show is just so that we both can connect. We wanted to see where you are and uh, where you're logging in from, how you're doing. So let's find out uh, who's logged in right now. That's uh, Rio Crasto, um, Jayanti Rajesh, Pujita Meri, Yella Mili, um, and uh, so many of you, Jebus, Anupriya, Sharon, Varsha, Prinsky. Uh, tell us where you're logging in from and uh, send a hello to us so that we know where you're uh, located. Are you safe? Are you uh, doing well? <laughs> Tell us where you're from. Rachel is ready, Sherlyn is ready, Anmol, Heymanth, uh, Yella Mili, Stella John, uh, Shoba, Shoba Gya, Varsha, Avishek, uh, Jembla, uh, Gracia, Phoebe, all of you are ready to play. Awesome. Mm. Uh, you've joined from Vijaywada, um, Chennai, Mumbai, Singapore, Dindukal, West Bengal, Vishagapatnam, uh, Nagar Koil, uh, Surat, Trichy, Virudhanagar, Chhattisgarh, Manipal. That's wow. so awesome. All over Manip India. That's yeah. awesome. Punjab. Some places we haven't even been, they are watching from. Yeah. So that's awesome. I remember going to Punjab, man. It was really like a festival. Yeah. <laughs> everyone were buzzing in and coming very early and everyone participated in that meeting, in our Jesus Calls meeting, right from the beginning. They were very into it. The songs, they were all rocking the place. They enjoyed mm -hmm. every song. They would shout hallelujah to the top of their voice. Uh, Punjab is very famous for that. Hallelujah! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of course, we've had meetings in many of these places as well. Uh, in the south also, in Coimbatore, in uh, Tirpur, Sri Lanka. Wow, good. Andhra Pradesh, Amravati. Wonderful. Good to see you guys and from all these places. Uh, I hope you've seen our uh, recent YouTube videos, our U -turn YouTube videos. Uh, we've read out your comments that many of you have sent in many of the videos. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting. Some were uh, very trolly comments somewhere. Uh, you loved the video. You were really touched by it. And uh, many of you uh, have said this is exactly uh, what I was going through. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm really glad that you did this video. So uh, reading out those comments were very um, exciting and uh, a blessing for us. So catch those videos if you haven't seen it. If you've seen those videos, let us know in the chat uh, how much you loved the recent videos. Uh, we have reacted to our old um, uh, memory. Yeah. Um, our old songs, mm -hmm. old messages and all that. Also behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, Unseen footage. We showed a little bit about how it was at that time while filming. Yeah. So that was fun. And of course your worship, yeah. it was tremendous and mm -hmm. people loved it. They said, please, please do this. Don't shut it down. <laughs> do this more. We want more of this. Yeah. So it's so nice to hear from you um, when you let us know what you want us to um, make, what kind of videos you want so that we can give you more of what you need um, and uh, what you're expecting from us. Um, so yeah, it's so lovely to hear from you. Mm. Uh, We've got international uh, people logging in, Ukraine, yeah. Malaysia and so on. So great. Shall we start? 
Yes, okay. Esther said start. <laughs> so she is so ready. Yeah, we're uh, pulling the suspense a, a lot longer. Yeah. Too much for her. She'll burst into bubbles, <laughs> I think. So Esther, are you ready? Let's go uh, and uh, get into the first round. The rules are very simple. Answer the question. We'll give you some choices. These are questions from incidents in the Bible or uh, verses in the Bible. And uh, I'm sure you'll all know. So if you're ready, uh, here we go with the first question. Through whom was the law given? Here are your choices. Uh, one more time the question is, through whom was the law given? First question, first choice is Moses. Second choice, Abraham. Third choice, Joshua. Fourth choice, Elijah. So these are your four options. All four of them are powerful, powerful people in the Bible. And uh, yeah, they're very, I think uh, people in the chat are very smart. They've got it without the options <laughs> yeah. itself. So the first person that popped up on my phone is mm. Deepan. Deepan, congratulations, G Deepan Chakravarti. Yes. So Chakra means uh, the wheel and also Chakra in Tamil means sugar. So <laughs> yeah. uh, very sweet person, Deepan. <laughs> uh, good job in answering the questions. Other winners? Okay. There are uh, a few more. Sherlin, Judah, mm. Aragon. Wow, that's Aragon Knight. I love that name. Medieval <laughs> name. Getsi, uh, Sw Swapnika. You've all uh, answered very quickly. And I think most of them have got Moses. Yes. Oh, did we even say the right answer? <laughs> oh, yeah. Moses, by the way, is the right answer. So, as you can see in the chat, you'll know the right answer immediately. So, good job, guys. Good job. So, moving forward, we'll... So, moving forward, we will um, read out the first five people who get it right. Okay. That so, um, get ready and type really fast once you know the answer. So, so to finish out the first question, the law was given yeah. by God through Moses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the second question. Let us see what the second question is. Everybody get ready. How many people brought the paralytic man to Jesus? So the options are A, six people, B, two people, C, four people, D, three people. Hmm. I thought it was ten. No, I'm just kidding. For one I person? Answer. <laughs> wow, answers are already coming in. And the top five people to answer the question is again, congratulations, Deep and your internet is fast. <laughs> I think he knows the answers. Did someone leak it from our team? Maybe it's someone inside using an <laughs> alias name. So, uh, Deep and congratulations, Sharniha, Lindsay, Paul, and Dr. Amala Ratna. What are you a doctor for? Are you a real doctor? Uh, or what are you a doctor in which field? Let us know, uh, Amala. So, these are your five winners. The correct answer is option c4 four. four people brought the paralytic to jesus to be healed and they brought him through the roof because the whole place was so crowded yeah. everyone wanted to see jesus and uh, these questions uh, while we take it from the bible stella organized a great game show um, it has run through different seasons and each season it's evolved uh, that game show's name is called do you know your bible uh, if you know that game show in the chat if you've seen it uh, please give a hands up or uh, say yes i've seen it and uh, yeah it will be very encouraging to see how many of you have already seen the game show it's it's really fun mm -hmm. done with a lot of youngsters and uh, it's fun to see them think and scramble their minds mm -hmm. and fall down there's some physical challenges yeah. also Right? To see if they are strong spiritually and physically. Mm. So they're my, uh, like uh, trivia, Bible trivia and also like activities that uh, the team members have to help each other to see how good they are as a team um, and things like that. We also test if they know um, our songs, our childhood songs, if they know the lyrics, if they can uh, identify it in, in a f just a few seconds. Because the timer is running, it's very uh, like... Um, nerve-wracking mm. and the adrenaline rush is real mm. so it's very interesting to watch um, 
how quickly uh, they answer or what their thought processes and things like that. So you should check out Do You Know Your Bible on YouTube. Just in the Jesus Calls YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, in the Jesus Calls YouTube channel. Just type out Do You Know Your Bible and you can watch two seasons of uh, this show. And challenge yourself by answering those questions right after this quiz. Yes. Okay, let's get to the next question without any more. Sweetie Akka, please sing Stotri Crane is a uh, message from Judah. Only if you answer all the questions right, Judah. Uh, be the top five, answer it very quickly. Here's your third question. How much money did Judas buy to betray Jesus? How much money was he bribed with to betray Jesus? The options are A, 50 silver coins, B, 20 silver coins, C, 30 silver coins, or D, 100 silver coins. Mm, wow, that uh, last uh, option was a jump. <laughs> How much silver coins would you, uh, you know, take to betray Jesus, Stella? I don't know how much silver coins are worth, but I feel like 30 is a really small number. Maybe it was like a huge number back then, but... Obviously, it should have been because Jesus, he, his value is off yeah. the roof. I mean, for all the good things that he, he's done for people and like, you know, um, or like... Judas would have been the closest spectator to it. Or, you know, the type of controversy that he might have created, it would have been like huge, mm. you know, for him to have sold him out like yes. that. So. And, uh, of course, our winners have come through in the chat. Congratulations, guys. And once again, it's Deepen. What? <laughs> it's really shocking. I'll, I'll double check if he's the first one to answer, but yes, it is. Uh, I think he's someone here in the production <laughs> team itself. Uh, Getsi, Joshua Daniel, Prasada Taluri, uh, Yellamili Siamala, who came right in the beginning of the show. And uh, yeah, those are your five winners who gave the right answer. 30 silver coins is what Judas got to betray Jesus. Congratulations, guys. Good. Good job, no everybody. And <laughs> Deepan said, no, no, I'm a real person. A real person, <laughs> not a bot. <laughs> okay. Good job. Okay, let's go to the fourth question. The fourth question is... We're going to ask, uh, go really fast in these questions now. So get ready to answer them quickly, okay? Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabakthani. What does that mean? It means A, it could either mean, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? B, get up and walk. C, arise and shine. D, go and preach the gospel. What does Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabakthani mean? Hmm. Everyone are uh, lazy. You guys are just writing the option number. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> because they want to beat Deepin. <laughs> ah. I think we'll give it to the ones who wrote the whole thing. Okay. What do you say? Or should we sure. go with the option number? You're the judge. So, the first person to write the whole answer is Sneha Priya. Mm. Second person to write That's is right. Jembla. No, Deepan. The whole answer? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're just biased now. You're just skipping over him. Okay. Sneha, Deepan, Jembla. And Paul Kujur. Paul Kujur. And the final one is Sheetal David. Awesome. Awesome. Good work, guys. Uh, a special shout out to the, the one who gave the option first is Melanie Crasto. Yeah. Uh, be a little more uh, enthusiastic about this uh, word and write the whole word next time. Okay, Melanie? But good job anyway. You're the fastest to write. Judah, uh, you're saying you're the first. Maybe in your phone you get it first, but uh, it's what comes in our phones which matters and probably what comes in everyone's phone. Yeah. Uh, but keep trying. Uh, we want to see your name right up there. Congratulations to the winners. It's my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's what uh, Eli Eli Lama Sabatani means. I don't know if we're saying the right uh, accent. but We are not Hebrew, so we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll move to the next question. Fifth question. Uh, get your fingers ready. Uh, warm them up if they're hurting. Um, fifth question is easy one. Be really quick. What does Emmanuel mean? 
and we're not going to give the options for this one because it's very easy. The word Emmanuel, what does it mean in the Bible? Don't give uh, your own meaning if it's your name. <laughs> Someone said net is slow. <laughs> net is slow, yeah, what to do here. Yeah. Go to your neighbor's house if they have a fast net. Uh, <laughs> awesome, we've got uh, answers right now, very quickly. And it's Ambrose Social Media. And uh, who gave the right answer? God is with us. God with us. Deepan, um, Sneha, Melanie. Good job. Judah, you came to the top five. Good job. So these are your winners. And uh, congratulations to everyone else who wrote the right answer. God with us. That's what Emmanuel means. Going to the next question. Question number six. Who was the disciple who wanted to walk with Jesus on the water? Should we give the options for this? or Yeah, should we I'll give the options. A. Matthew B. Peter C. Jacob D. Thomas Oh, Lydia, I'm sorry we didn't say your name. We are only shouting out the top five people who got the answers. Wow, people are so fast. I know. Um, Adlin. Adlin, nice. Peter, uh, Deepan. Sneha Priya. Deepan, Sneha Priya, you're, you're in almost all the answers in the top five. Uh, Gracie Mobu and Sharon Senior. Awesome. I think that's what SR means. It's not your initial. <laughs> so the correct answer is Peter wanted to walk with Jesus on the water. Mm. You guys got it right. Let us move on to the next question. You know, I can walk on water also. Really? Yeah. It's very easy. I'll show you later. A special YouTube video will come. Oh. <laughs> you just have to have some solid on the water. That's all. Oh. That's the only <laughs> anyway, going to the next question very quickly, transitioning from Please. that bad joke. Uh, the seventh question is, how many times did the seeds sown in the good soil multiply and bear fruit? Mm. According to what Jesus said in our incident, how many times did the seeds sown in the good soil multiply and bear fruit? It's three uh, different numbers. Uh, option A is 30, 60, 100. Option B, 30, 40, 60. Option C, 30, 60, 90 times. Option D, 30, 70, 100 times. Awesome. I don't know. Awesome. Um, even before you read the uh, answer, a lot of people were commenting. Wow, we should give a special prize for them. But uh, the first person to say the, all three of those numbers, are the correct answer is <laughs> 30, 60, 100. And the first person to say the right answer, all three, is Sharniha mm. Anthony. Congratulations. Good job. And then Naveen, Deepika, uh, Eb Ebsiba. Oh, that's a nice way to say Ebsiba. I know. <laughs> and Ankita. Nikita, wow, top five winners. Who awesome, said? totally new group. Awesome guys. Uh, People are coming up. Glad you waited for the options. <laughs> I think we're going to give a prize to whoever is consistently in the top five. Mm. So we've got some names so far, but yeah. you can beat them still. Yes. Okay. Should we go to the next question? Yes. Next question is how many chapters are there in the Gospel of Luke? So, 16. Mm, this is a little. Without opening your Bible, try to answer. B, 24. C, 15. D, 28. Once again, the options. A is 16. B, 24. C, 15. D, 28. Mm. Guys, we are expecting you to actually say the number instead of yes. the option number. Don't be lazy, guys. Come on. I know you're inside, relaxed, chilling in a sofa or a bed or even on the floor, but make some effort. You've got answers already? Yeah, the first person to say the right answer, which is 24, is Paul Kujur, Sneha Priya, mm. Phoebe, Sharon, and Maureen. I think uh, Phoebe, this is the first time seeing her name in the top five. Maureen, good job. Uh, the other three I've, I've seen you guys answer. A lot of people are retracting the answer after they're saying it wrong. Uh, no no take backs. 
<laughs> lot of people are saying 66 i think you uh, thought how many books are there in the bible uh, how this many is chapters are there in the gospel of luke yes so it's the correct answer is 24 a lot of 16s a lot of 28s almost uh, yeah these are the other famous answers given <laughs> so what would you have said would you have said 24 do you know how many chapters no. I, I'll confess I don't know either. In Luke, uh, I, I didn't know it was 24 chapters. Good to know. Mm. Uh, but I do remember some verses from the chapter 23, 24, when Jesus was walking with the disciples in Emmaus. I've told that story many times. So yeah, it was getting to the end when Jesus was uh, rising up to heaven. So. The unique thing about the Gospels is that uh, every cha- uh, every book may have like similar stories, but they're all. Rip- written in a different perspective. Mm. So it's interesting even if it's if even if you feel like you're reading the same thing over and over again, it's like a new perspective or a new thing might be added in that story uh, in each book. Mm. So John will be a little more personal. Yeah. Uh, he he captures the emotions of what happens. Luke is a bit more historic mm-hmm. uh, giving all the facts of what happened. So yeah, it's very interesting to read different perspectives and get getting more information. Yeah. about what happened you read your eyes really open mm-hmm. so don't just uh, stop with reading one of the gospels so we've got three more minutes uh, just a few more questions so get ready uh, we're going to have one or two winners maximum finally getting a prize and the next question how old was jesus when he began his ministry mm. no options you just go ahead and try to get the right answer what age was jesus when he began his ministry good we've got answers already coming in uh mixed answers some of you are confused with the question uh okay my phone is kind of getting hang uh, hanged up because a lot of answers are popping up deep in said it first yep get see um melanie ankita and sharon grace Cool. The correct answer is 30, not 33. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking about the age where uh the life of Jesus ended, his ministry ended in this world. Um yeah, most of you have got 30, others 33, and some of you have got 40 and 36. Someone said 12. 12. That's a different incident which <laughs> happened at the age of 12. Jesus was uh, in the temple when his parents kind of missed him and left. him and then came back for him. <laughs> it was kind of an embarrassing incident for Joseph and me. Yeah. Okay. Good good job guys. Uh we've got some people who have uh answered it um I mean some repeat people. Mm-hmm. Next question. How much money? This is a little toughy, so listen. Uh, you'll get special points for this one. How much money were the five sparrows sold for? one of the incidents in the bible how much money were the five sparrows sold for here are your options a uh five coins b two coins c one coin d four coins how many coins were the sparrows sold for so i have to keep track who answered first mm, the first person to say it correctly is jeevita mm good two job two coins Jeevita and then Yelameli uh Pushpa um Christina and Prasad Prasasta Good job so guys So do we have any repeat people or is it new people who Yeah new new people Good job mm. Good job guys Shall we ask them the last question Sure The last question is How many of the healed lepers gave thanks to Jesus? Options are A 2 B 10 C 1 D 4 So how many of the lepers gave who are healed gave thanks came back and gave thanks good i think most of you have got the right answer except one or two have said 10 and 9 it's not 10 it's not 9 9 was not even in the options 
but congratulations to Deepan, Iman, Adlin, Sharon Roja, Melanie Cresto, uh, who have said one. Awesome. One person came back and gave thanks, one leper. So I know you know that story very well. Congratulations to all of you. I think uh, our team will decide this, but from what we have seen, Deepan and Sneha Priya, yeah. uh, maybe even Sharon Grace, uh, I've seen their names, Melanie. These are some of the names, but the top two are like Sha um, Deepan and Sneha, Sneha. Yeah. who has won. So good job, both of you. Um, very fast internet connection probably, but very fast fingers, very fast mind and very much attachment with the word of God. So I hope you enjoyed this, this game guys. This is especially to emphasize the word of God um, in how important it is in our lives. It's good that you know many of the things in the Bible, but how do we use it for? Uh, what do we use it for and how is it useful in our lives every day? So many times when we are faced with difficult situations, uh, we don't have uh, pe the right people to turn to and uh, we don't uh, know what to do. And uh, that's when we are reminded of God's word in our hearts. It just bubbles up in our hearts. It may be God is my strength, my strong tower, or God is, the, is uh, in whom I trust. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These words just bubble up in our hearts. These might be memory verses that we see uh, just hanging up in the wall. Uh, when we read the Bible, we remember that one verse or something that we might have been forced to even memorize in Bible school. But then uh, those words just bubble up in us and it gives us so much strength because when we believe in those words, God really rejuvenates us and He gives us the right word uh, uh, that we should apply in our lives and what we should do regarding that situation as well. Yes, and uh, it's good to memorize these verses, yes. memorize these word of God as you read it each day, the word that God speaks to you that day. Uh, my mother will tell us to write it down and to memorize it and speak it throughout the day. Uh, because these verses, right in your important moments, you can speak these verses into what you're struggling with or if you're facing any problem, speak the right verse as the Holy Spirit will remind you the verse at the right time. Not only for yourself, but for others. They'll come for telling their problems or they'll come and ask, pray for me. You might uh, have seen that Jesus calls uh, prayer intercessor team. They'll be praying with the verse. That verse comes from God's Spirit bubbling out of them because they've uh, taken that verse inside their mind, inside their memory and kept it within themselves. They pray claiming that verse and when they uh, when you pray claiming that verse, power comes and God's power acts because you're claiming the word of God which God has spoken to you. You have, you're uh, believing in it and you're speaking in uh, speaking it in that situation. The word of God is alive. Yes. And it works through you mm -hmm. when you speak it. So right now, let's ask God now uh, let's close this um, by praying, Lord, give us the ability to read the Bible, to keep that word in us and to activate it in different moments in our life to give us life. And we're going to pray for any troubles that you might be uh, in right now also. So any requests that you have, speak it to the Lord. He knows he'll do a miracle for you. We believe it. Loving Lord Jesus, even now, as we've remembered the incidents that have had happened in the Bible, the different scriptures, the different, Lord, things that you have, Lord, shown us to live by. Lord, we pray that you will continuously give us this ability. Thank you for, Lord, speaking to your children thus far. They have read the word and many of them have given the right uh, answers to these questions. So we know they love you so much. Continue to help us read this word every day. Let it be a strength to us, Lord. And as uh, we are facing some trouble, or as our friends are facing some trouble, bring this word to our memory so that we will claim it right there and you will deliver us according to that word, Lord. You will bless us according to that word, Lord. Let that word come to life. Give us the power of, the, uh, power of God according to the word that you have spoken, Lord. According to the word that you make us speak, Lord. Let there be miracles happening, Father. 
let there be great things happen happening lord thank you jesus lord i pray that you will deliver them from all their problems lord if they are sick i pray that you will heal them lord i pray that you will uh give them a job if they are seeking for a job lord if they have any financial distress that you will deliver them out of debt out of their uh, financial problems lord i pray that you will uh teach them what they should do in their future what course they should take what college they should choose what um a sub a subject they should pursue lord lord i pray that you will reveal it to them lord lord jesus today they may be struggling because of so many things in their lives lord it may be piling up and causing them anxiety lord i pray that you will give them rest in their hearts and peace in their hearts that surpasses all understanding lord help them to trust in you no matter what happens in their life lord and uh, honor them for their faith and increase them in their lives lord be with them just like a friend lord let them never feel lonely lord lead them and guide them and, uh, and uh, uh, help them to reach great heights and shine like stars in their lives lord bless them and increase them in jesus name i pray I know God has blessed you and answered your prayer requests right now also and he'll give us the ability to read the word of God claim it and be blessed by it so live by it and be strong my friends good job getting the right answers most many of you have done that throughout consistently uh, God bless you for it he'll be so happy that you know his word and deepen and sneha a special thing for you uh, whatsapp us in our u turn whatsapp number that Uh, we're going to post in the chat um, and 8056139888 tell us your phone number and we'll contact you and send you a prize getting more information okay so congratulations especially to the both of you uh, your prize is going to be the uh, official game uh, pack the quiz cards of do you know your bible mm-hmm. game show So with that you can challenge your family members your friends to see if your dad and mom know the right answers from the bible there are a lot of questions from the bible in that pack you can play with your family with your friends and have a good time and spend time with god also while you're having fun so we'll be sending you that prize we'll uh, do more of these game shows in the u-turn lives coming up so stick around uh, in our youtube channel in our instagram channel in our facebook and keep in touch okay uh and if you want to purchase the uh do you know your bible card game you can go to truefriendshopee.app and get it yourself and play with your family and friends even uh, if you're at home you can uh, pass your time uh with that and also stay updated with us on social media and also if you want to get u turn merch like this one mm. you can go to our website u turn.in and also watch our tv programs every week um and all that information is on our website so you can check it out and uh, we'll come back next time if you enjoyed the show don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know we had so much fun conducting this uh, little quiz to see who gets the right answer to know more about you where you're from and what you uh, what your relationship with the bible with the lord is we'll see you next time bye, bye.